rivière des Mille-Îles. Le Canada perd du terrain face à ses concurrents directs en matière de recherche et développement. En 2005, le Canada occupait le 16e rang en matière d'investissement en recherche. Mais en 2011, on est passé au 23e rang. La prospérité dépend de l'innovation, qui n'est pas simplement la recherche au service de l'industrie. Une question simple. Est-ce que les conservateurs comprennent la nécessité d'augmenter le ratio d'investissement en recherche et en développement par rapport au PIB? Mr. Speaker, of course we do. In fact, that's why we have made record investments in science, technology and innovation that the NDP consistently votes against. We've increased support for our granting councils at every single opportunity that we've had. In addition, our government is supporting over 10,000 scientists, wow. researchers and students across the country through the uh, Discovery Grants Program, scholarships, fellowships. Mr. Speaker, our government's on the right track. The Honourable Member for Riviera de Mr. Speaker, the numbers of conservative sites sound as fictional as the government's job training program. The fact is, the government's own advisory panel is telling them that when it comes to science, they're not getting it done. And I quote, with their significant investments in research and higher education, other countries are catching up and overtaking Canada. This regressive government has been in power for seven years, and every year, Canada has fallen farther behind. When will the minister admit that there's a problem? Yeah. Well, the problem actually is that every time we provide new funding and investment, the exactly. NDP vote against it. But, exactly. Mr. Speaker, we are in fact committed to carrying forward on our science, technology and innovation in Canada. In fact, that report actually said Canada's substantial investment in the higher education sector has reaped significant rewards as the production and refinement of scientific knowledge in Canada continues to be characterized by vitality and high quality. Mr. Speaker, that's our strategy. Theirs is to vote no and have a blank page. <laughs>